Okay, so our story today comes from Matthew 13, and it's also repeated in Luke 8. It is the parable of the sower told by Jesus who's preaching from a boat. And so Jesus called the multitude to him, and he wanted to preach to them. And so they all stood on the shore, and Jesus sat in a boat and pushed a little way off the land. And he began to preach. There was a sower who scattered seed everywhere. A sower is like a farmer who plants seed. The seed is God's word, the scriptures. The word is meant to be sown in our hearts. So we want the scriptures to be planted in our hearts to cause a transformation. The word grows in our hearts and changes us and our heart becomes new. Some seed fell by the wayside the side of the path. And this land is very trampled down. And this represents God's word that is not understood by the people. And when it is not understood, what happens is that Satan's birds come and take away the seed. They gobble it up. And this seed will come to nothing, for it was not understood. Yes, God's word needs to be understood and sown in our hearts. Some of the seed that the sower threw landed on rocky ground. This seed sprung up immediately. It made roots and started to grow. But when the sun came up, the root was scorched and dried up, and the seed came to nothing. This is like when God's word is received with gladness, but then the rocks represent trials and persecutions come, and the people are offended, and so they immediately leave God. And this seed comes to nothing also. The word is meant to be sown and planted firmly in our hearts. But then the sower threw seed onto thorny ground. And this seed was choked by the thorns. The thorns represent the cares of this world and the riches of this world. And so though these people received the word with gladness, they realized that they cared more about the cares of this world and the riches of this world. And so they were tempted and drawn away. And the word was choked and came to nothing. But then some seed fell on the good ground. It was planted firmly in the heart. And what happened was that the seed grew. It grew up and it transformed that heart into a heart like that of Jesus. And these people who received the word with gladness understood it, and they carefully bore fruit with patience. And so this seed grew up into marvelous trees that grew many, many fruits. And when those fruits fell to the ground, they grew up more trees. And so much fruit was born. Some of these seeds bore fruit 30 times, other seeds bore fruit 60 times, and other seeds bore fruit 100 times. Wow. And so there were many, many fruit trees, and these trees were people in God's kingdom. So the kingdom was filled with people. Amen. 
Let's review what we've learned. Some seed fell by the wayside, and the people did not understand it. So Satan came right away and stole away the word from their hearts. Some seed fell on the rocky path. Yes, so it was received with gladness at first, but when trials and persecutions came, the people were offended by these trials and persecutions, and they immediately left God, and the seed came to nothing. The thorny path was when the seed landed in the people's hearts and was received with gladness at first, but then they realized that they cared more for the cares and riches of this world. And so the seed that started to grow was choked by the thorns, and it also came to nothing. But then some seed fell on good ground. This word was understood believed, accepted, and even shared with others. And so these seeds bore fruit, some of them 30 times, some 60 times, and some 100 times. And so the kingdom of heaven was filled with beautiful people. You see all the souls that were saved by God's word and God's kingdom will be full of people. Yes, that is the end of our story. To hear more of Sandra McTiernan's work or hear her tell Bible stories, please visit www.harkstories.com or go to Sandra McTiernan on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again.